In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus H2SO4. This is magnesium, and this is sulfuric acid. It's important to note that in this equation, we're dealing with dilute sulfuric acid. If it was concentrated, we would have different products. So to write the balanced net ionic equation, the first thing is we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's nice. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Magnesium, that's a metal. So we'll put a little S there. It's a solid. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte. So that's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Magnesium compounds, sulfate compounds, generally very soluble. So we're going to write AQ, aqueous, because that'll also dissociate into ions. And hydrogen, that is a gas. We have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so that's just Mg. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. And then hydrogen group 1, that's 1 plus the sulfate ion, the whole thing, 2 minus. Good one to remember. So we have two hydrogen ions. That's 2 H plus, and then we have the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. Those are the reactants. For the products, magnesium is in group two on the periodic table, so it's going to be two plus bonded to our sulfate, which we said was two minus. So we'll have Mg two plus plus the sulfate ion again, two minus, plus we'll have H2. And we don't split H2 apart because it's a gas. We don't split gases apart in net ionic equations either. So right now we have the complete ionic equation we can cross out spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides of the complete ionic equation. If we look, the only thing that's on both sides here in the reactants and then here in the products, that's the sulfate ion. So let's cross the sulfate ion out. It's a spectator ion. So we cross that out. What's left is the net ionic equation for Mg plus H2SO4. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus H2SO4, magnesium plus sulfuric acid. You can see charge is conserved. I have 2 times 1 plus. So on this side, I have 2 plus. Over here, I have 2 plus. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus sulfuric acid, dilute sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.